in this class we are going to discuss about the single phase ac voltage controllers it is a power transfer circuit which converts the fixed ac voltage to the variable ac voltage at a constant frequency nothing but a, it is not going to control the frequency of the supply it is affecting only the rms output voltage ac voltage controllers are classified two types one is integral ac voltage controller another one is the inter ac voltage controller in case of integer ac voltage controller we are controlling the number of cycles in the input voltage which is applied to the load that's why we are calling as a integral ac voltage controller in case of inter ac voltage controller we are controlling the every cycle of the input voltage single phase ac voltage controller with a resistor load this is the circuit diagram a t1 t2 are connected anti parallel here we have taken the resistor load positive direction of the output voltage positive direction of the output current this is the positive direction of source current this terminal we have taken as a, a this terminal we have taken as a b the input voltage we have represented with a vs equal to vm sin omega t to explain the circuit operation we have taken the two cycles of the input voltage pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi during positive cycle of the input voltage a is positive and b is negative with this polarity the t1 is forward bias whereas t2 is reverse bias so we have to apply the triggering voltage to the t1 with a delay angle alpha during the negative cycle of the input voltage t2 is forward bias whereas the t1 is reverse bias so we have to apply the triggering voltage to the t2 during the negative cycle of the input voltage with a delay angle alpha now we are going to see the output voltage waveform from 0 to alpha no device is conducting circuit so the output voltage becomes a zero at alpha the t1 is on once the t1 is on the current is passing from source t1 load again return to the source the load voltage is equal to the source voltage from this point alpha at angle pi because of the resistor load load current is coming to the zero so the current coming coming from the t1 also the zero so the t1 will be turns off at angle pi from pi to pi plus alpha no device is conducting circuit so the output voltage again zero at a pi plus alpha the input voltage is negative the input voltage is negative so the a becomes a negative and as a b becomes a positive with this polarity the t2 is forward bias now this voltage load voltage is equal to source voltage that is negative from pi plus alpha so you take up the same how the input voltage is changing you take up the same again at 2 pi t2 also will be turns off because of the resistor load the same circuit operation will be repeated for the remaining one cycle you compute the waveform if you draw the output current waveform here we have taken the load as the resistor load so the output current waveform same as the output voltage waveform but the magnitude will be less now we are going to find out the rms output voltage here 0 to pi whatever the waveform is the same waveform is repeating so we have to find out the average of the square of the repeated waveform so we have to square this waveform under this square waveform how much is the area divided by the base length whole power 1 by 2 so the rms output voltage is equal to 1 by pi integral alpha 2 pi vm sin omega t whole square d omega t whole power 1 by 2 vm square is constant take outside sin square omega t we can write it as 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 if we complete the integration for this expression so finally you are getting the vm by root 2 pi pi minus alpha by 2 plus sin 2 alpha by 4 power 1 by 2 now take 2 root 2 common inside so vm by 2 root pi pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha by 2 power 1 by 2 this is the expression for the rms output voltage for ac voltage controller as alpha is changing from 0 to 100 degrees we can change the rms output voltage which is applied to the load also Thank you very much